Hi guys, it's Ayana and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are trying temporary hair dye. So I got this hair dye off of Amazon for, how much was it? I forgot how much it was, but I got it off of Amazon and it's by Urban X, it's the hair coloring material. I got it in this magenta color and it's four ounces and I haven't used actually that much because I, I guess that's the beauty of hair dye. You don't need that much to color your hair with. So yeah. I've been, I did like part of my hair and I'm doing a twist out so I'm gonna have a, like a cute little purple twist out and for the twisting part I've been using the twist and shout cream by blueberry bliss this thing is eight ounces and this is how much I've used over the past month and during this video so yeah it a little goes a long way and it actually lasts you a pretty good amount of time I really like it and I'm definitely gonna get more but anyway that's not what we're here for we're here to see how this color comes out so it was at first I was just like I don't really see it I don't really see it much I don't think it's gonna look cute but as I got used to it and I got into my own little rhythm with the dye it was it was it was better and my fingers are really colored but it's not like staining the inside of the twisting cream which I think is great because I was afraid that it was going to stay on the inside and like make everything else purple but that's not what happened so I did the rest of my hair off camera just so that this video wouldn't be super long and then I'm going to do this part and show you guys my whole process and I started this style on freshly washed hair I deep conditioned with my intensive conditioning treatment and then I also put this concoction that I make of apple cider vinegar and aloe vera and I put that on my scalp because that helps relieve my itch. Ooh, that helps relieve my itchy scalp. It's really really helpful. Like you know how they say apple cider rinses are good for relieving scalp issues? I use apple cider and aloe vera. They say that aloe vera also promotes hair growth, so I want us to use those two in conjunction with each other. So basically what I've been doing is I apply the twist and shell cream first to my hair smooth it out and then I go in with the dye and I feel like adding the cream and smoothing it out with my brush helps me apply the dye even better see and I'm not really putting the dye at my roots at my roots I'm putting the the twist and shout cream because I just want like the, the bottom of my hair to be colored so I'm not gonna put the dye at my roots smoothing it out and then I'm adding the dye the coloring material make sure to smooth it out if you're gonna try this smooth out your hair first so that the material the coloring Ring. material goes on a lot better Cream, this twisting cream works a lot better if your hair is damp. But my hair is so soft, guys. 
I use my regular leave-in. I use the Ren Pure Professional Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-In. I didn't even apply it to my hair in sections. I had my twists in in the shower, right? And then I just took the leave-in and just put it all over with my twist still in my hair. And that was enough for it to get into my hair. Am I like misdiagnosing my porosity? Like, what? why is my hair so soft? Okay. I mean, look at that. Oh, this is, oh my gosh. I, I wanna, no, 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 no. Purple wash and go, guys. Like, purple wash and go. and soft and shiny every time I use this product this twist and shout cream for my twist outs my twist outs come out looking amazing and beautiful and now I had the color in and the color is not as vibrant as I would have liked it to be it looks like it's like fading off of my hands but I still think that it's gonna come out looking like different and a little bit red and that's okay next time I'll try to hair paint wax if, if they finally put my red color on Amazon but let me give you guys a full 60 we're working with here. Other side. Isn't that isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna let these dry overnight and then I'm gonna come back and take them down. But before I leave you guys, I wanted to just ask, does anybody else use temporary hair dye? What do you guys use to twist up your hair and get your perfect twist out? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, good morning, guys. Um, so I woke up and now I'm just taking out the twist. I just wanted to get this out of the way because I was just not in the mood this morning. But yeah, I'm just taking it out and I put some oil on my fingers just so that there's no frizz happening, some olive oil. And as you guys can see, the dye is actually coming off on my fingers. But in the end, it actually didn't matter that much because my hair was still pretty and purple and beautiful. The separation process was pretty, pretty easy. And as you can see, there's tons of definition. As I told you, this twist and shout cream is incredible with definition on my 4C hair. Yeah, I need to trim. That will be in another video. I'll show you guys how I trim my hair. I don't know if I do it the best way, but whatever. And I got a little excited in that last clip to separate that one. But I mean, in my defense, it just kind of came apart. So don't like come for me. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going in and separating my hair. As you can see, the separation process again is super easy. I can separate up to three or four times on my hair, which is really really surprising for me actually it is going along very very easy and i'm just gonna skip this because you guys know how to separate hair you've seen a ton of videos on it okay so i just wanted to give you guys an even closer view of how i'm separating my hair and i wanted you guys to really see how easily my hair was coming apart some of the twists were literally falling apart in my hands so i didn't have to run my fingers through them at all for them to separate and here i am again after i have fluffed and found all the missing twists and I have shaped my hair and everything. Okay, so I have fluffed my hair to perfection or as close to it as I can possibly get. And I didn't use a pick, I used my fingers and I went like this and just like fluffed it out. And I think that's what gave it so much more volume and it just made me able to fluff it out way faster when I use my fingers instead of a pick. So I think that's what I'm gonna be doing from now on. But there's, there's a lot of definition as you guys can see. There's a lot of volume. And like I'm I'm really I'm really liking it. It came out really, really cute. Now the thing is when I was separating, it came up on my fingers and on my legs, like some flakes of it. 
but um i mean that's really the only thing and be careful when you're wearing white shirts i don't know why i chose to wear a white shirt when i know that it comes off on other services but i did my mistake let me give you guys what the back looks like Thought I would look good in this color, and I did. So I really, really like it, and I hope you guys did too. If you guys want to see more content, if you guys want to see more content like this from me, leave a comment below. And if you really like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.